Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 8, and we got a new trailer. Very surprising that they dropped it this early, but we got a new trailer um, for... They, they're saying it's Season 8B, but really it's just for the, you know, when we come back, those first few episodes, but let's watch it and then we'll talk about it. Can you keep a secret? Definitely. I'm from the future. No way, me too. Where are you? Bart, focus on the plan. Keep the future safe. Both gonna make great heroes. We'll make you proud, Dad. You've leveled up. We're not the only ones who leveled up. There's a killer out there. We need to find them. 30. 29. You could just <laughs> skip the counting and kill her, you know. You have no sense of drama. Oh my god. The whole timeline's in flux. This is where it happened. Where Dad was struck by lightning. What you went through gave you the ability to believe when no one else is willing to. You're asking us to believe in something impossible. Do you have a death wish? No, I can do this. You got this. We have such an amazing future ahead of us. I am done living in fear. Time to ride or die, people. Remember what Dad always says. Dad! No matter how fast you run, life is about the journey. The Flash returns with a new episode on a new night, Wednesday, March 9th. Free next day, only on the CW app. Now, I'm not going to lie, that trailer doesn't show us a ridiculous amount in regards to, like, uh, like where the story is going. We pick back up, you know, with season eight or anything like that for the most part. And that actually is sort of for a good reason. And that's because when we pick up again in early March, is it March 12th or something? So first half of March, somewhere like that. We are picking back up with some interlude episodes as they were called last season. Uh, so episodes that aren't directly connected to the main storyline or storylines of the season. Now, obviously, most people would call these filler episodes. Now, filler episodes can be really good. I mean, Enter Flash Time was a filler episode, and to some people, that is, you know, their favorite episode that the show has ever done, or it's in, like, their top three or top five. And I think the episode we pick up, uh, or pick back up with when we come back with Season 8, which features a lot in this trailer, will be a lot of fun as well, which is the episode with uh, Bard and Nora time-traveling back, which maybe ties into stuff going forward this season... But in regards to that, that's sort of like hard to tell based off what we have seen so far and also from this trailer as well. But yeah, throughout the video, be sure to let me know your general thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think of the stuff in the trailer? Looking forward to any of the stuff that you see here, I guess mainly specifically episode six, the Bart Nora episode, because that's the stuff we get the most of in this trailer. And if you see anything interesting that I might have missed or that I just sort of graze over and not mention much and you think it's worth more, you know, of a discussion, let me know in the comment section down below. Always curious to hear what you guys are saying and just let me know if you're looking forward to the season eight when it picks back up in March. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video, why not drop a like on it? It takes two seconds, so easy. Now, as I said, I was surprised they released this trailer so early because The Flash isn't back for like over a month, almost like six weeks or something like that. And usually you would get a trailer like this, maybe not even four weeks, maybe like two weeks before a show comes back. But I think they are doing this so they can run it you know, in the ad breaks on shows like Superman and Lois and the other DC TV shows to hit home with viewers that watch The Flash, that The Flash is changing nights. It's no longer on a Tuesday night like it's been since season one because now Superman and Lois and Naomi are on there uh, because they had to premiere in January and The Flash wasn't going to be able to continue there. So The Flash is now on a Wednesday when it comes back in March, which of course was the night that Arrow held for most of its run. So... Yeah, just keep that in mind when we approach the start of the back half of the season. But if you're watching the channel regu regularly, you know, when they release other stuff, I'll be sure to mention it. But let's actually move on to the actual trailer and break it down. Now, from what I can tell, I think this might only be, I think, two episodes worth of footage. However, it could be three, just based off some older or flashback footage they're using in the trailer as well. So, so I will go over what I think is in within, or, you know, that's in within like uh, episode six and seven and then include what could be from another episode as well, or maybe it takes place in episode six or seven as well. Not too sure, but we'll talk about it when we get there. But to start off, we of course get more footage from episode six, the return episode or mid-season premiere, whatever you want to call it, even though I wouldn't call it mid-season premiere because we only had five episodes, we've got 13 to go, but we get more Bard and Nora. And as we also got from the first trailer for this episode, uh, which was of course much shorter, we will see Bart and Nora at the events from the season seven finale, which was when Barry and Iris retook their vows, but we will see them depart from the present day and head back to their future. So they're going back to the future, but something obviously goes wrong along the way, or maybe something out of their control happens, which changes the timeline and now has it that Joe gets shot in a jewelry heist 
which we get to see a bit more of in this trailer as well. Now, of course, this is the episode featuring Eddie Thorne in the past, and I'm assuming he will have some interactions with Bart and Nora, saying that this will be the point in time or the point in the timeline in which Barry is in the coma following being hit by lightning. So he hasn't woken up and become the Flash yet. This is like the in-between point. So this is the point of the show that we never really saw. Like we saw little bits like when Barry in hospital and stuff, but we didn't see like the outside world after this happened. And we of course see more of like Bart and Nora in Barry's lab shortly after the incident. Now, of course, I guess there would be like some wondering from people whether there's metahumans out there now because the particle accelerator has gone off. So Barry's been hit by the lightning, but other people were hit by the particle accelerator as well. So will, we, will there be metahumans out there in Central City where we learn of metahumans that were out and maybe taken down four barrow is the flash that'll be interesting now one thing i'm wondering is whether this is just a straight up interlude or filler episode or if it actually ties into anything later in this season and it's relevant to anything else now if i had to take a guess i would probably say it doesn't tie into anything and this might have been the writers and producers going like hey jordan fisher who plays bart or impulse isn't going to be available for any lengthy stretch we will probably only get to use him for one episode so let's do something fun and contained in that one episode and that would be my like guess, at least, to the possible conversations that they had because the guy that plays Bart, Jordan Fisher, is doing like Broadway. And I think he's still doing it for a few more months. So yeah, he's not going to be available to play Bart, at least maybe right towards the end of the season. But even then, I don't think that would be a possibility. But it has to be kept in mind, even though this is only one episode and it seems like it might just be contained, when you are dealing with time travel and any changes that can you know lead to potential issues at any point elsewhere in the timeline, maybe just keep in the back of your head that it might be relevant. Like who knows what kickstarted the change for Joe to get shot. It might be out of their control and they might not even figure out what it is and we might learn later on. Now, Goldface, daddy loves the metal, daddy or daddy likes the metal, whatever it is, he's back. And uh, what I think will be episode seven as that episode is called Lockdown. Now I do wonder if this is intentional because I know Goldface is like a meme, but you know what? If they're just doing a fun episode in between and they just need a villain to fill in there, why not have Goldface? I'd rather have Goldface than some random villain that we've never seen before that's forgettable. Like Goldface at least is a good old meme. So some people will be like, oh my God, I don't want Goldface back. I think it's funny that he's back. But yeah, it looks like he's back in episode seven as that episode is called Lockdown. So based off what we see here, episode seven being called Lockdown is where the CCPD goes into lockdown due to Goldface. And this does look like it will be a contained episode with Barry and Kristen Kramer working together either against Goldface or just working together to stop what's happening. Um, but look like Goldface has his gang and maybe some others, but it looks like he's just got some gang members that I don't know if we've seen before. Like he had gang members, but I don't know if like the people we're seeing in this trailer alongside him were there in those previous episodes as well. Not too sure. If you do know, let me know. But yeah, the elephant in the room, like... I think we all know that Kramer wasn't a very good character in season seven. However, her few scenes in Armageddon, which is like, yeah, like two or three, like only a few scenes. I thought they were good, especially that I think one of the first or second scene with her was, which was like that banter scene that she had between herself and Barry when Barry was investigating the Royal Flash Gang or like an incident involving them in episode one. I thought it worked really well. However, as we know, Armageddon was a bit of a, like a, like a trippy experience as a whole so it's hard it, it, it's hard to tell whether that type of interaction between the two will continue i hope it does hopefully it doesn't go back to season seven kramer hopefully they've figured out the right way to do the character and based on what we saw in armageddon i think they have so hopefully that continues but just back to goldface as i'm saying memes i wonder what the potential meme coming from this episode what it will be i don't know looking forward to it uh, but it looks to be uh well in the episode it looks like he is raiding the armory within the ccpd don't know what's in there specifically whether it's a new item maybe it's something that was taken off him in a previous you know raid or in, like interaction between the flash and himself uh or just the ccpd and you know his gang and stuff like that so yeah it looks like he's either trying to get something back or he learns that something's in there that he really wants and he's just taking it because he needs to or that or because he can but yeah the thing that i was saying that maybe is in another episode or well, that's included in this trail that makes me, you know, that leads to maybe it being another episode is these flashbacks to the night of Nora Allen's death. Like, why is that? Like, I don't think we're going to see Bart and Nora travel back there. Or maybe they do. I don't know. Maybe they do. I don't know. Maybe because like, Joe was there the night of that, you know, he was one of the cops who came in like consoled Barry or collected Barry or whatever it was. So maybe they do go back there and maybe that's what we're seeing. 
I'm not too sure. It is interesting they showed that because I don't know if it really has any relevance to anything that we know of. So I do wonder why they showed the flashbacks to all that happening and like Henry Allen being taken away by the police and young Barry crying and stuff. So maybe Bart and Nora do travel back there. Or maybe this is like a teaser at the end of one of the episodes that maybe sets something else up going forward. I'm curious as to why they put that in there. If you have any ideas, let me know. But yeah, that's all to talk about from this trailer, guys. Um, as I said, we usually get a trailer to promote they're coming back like two weeks before. So we might get another trailer, which maybe shows another episode worth of footage mixed in with some footage from episode six and seven. That's a wait and find out. We're still like a month away from that two week mark. So if it comes out, do a video then. As I said, this caught me off guard, this video, uh, this trailer coming out today. But if you enjoyed the video, it would be awesome if you could drop a like on it, show support. As I said, always helps the channel. Let me know in the comment section down below your various opinions and all this, what you're looking forward to the most and everything like that. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.